I would suggest is if you know how to change fractions to decimals, decimals to percents, and so on, pause the video and write down the blanks that are missing in this chart. In other words, fill in every blank in this chart. Okay, I'm assuming you've come back after pausing the video, and now we're going to go over these. So first off, fractions. We'll turn fractions into decimals. This is just basically division. So I divide 1 by 4, and I get 0.25. 2 by 3, and I get 0.66 forever, which depending on the problem, we would eventually round off. And we would round it up 0.67. Let's go ahead and verify these on the calculator. Of course, 2 divided by 3. And with that, I get 0.6 forever. And even the calculator, you'll notice, rounded off the last spot. It knows the next number off the screen is 6, so it's rounded off the last one, and it'll display to 7. OK, so now let's go backwards from decimals to fractions. 0 0.004, for example. This is the tenths place, hundredths place, thousandth place. So it's 4 over 1,000, which we could then reduce. But I'm going to show how we can do this on the calculator. Type in 0 0.004, and I press math. The first choice is answer to fraction. And it will turn it into a fr fraction and properly reduce as 1 over 250. Well, let's see what it does with 2.5. 5 halves. OK. So that's how we can turn fractions to decimals, decimals to fractions. We divide this way, and this way we enter them and use math answer to fraction. Now let's deal with percents. 0 0.25 is as a decimal. It's 25%. The trick is we simply move the decimal two spots to the right. 0 0.004 will be 0.4%. It's not a whole percent. It's less than 1%. 2.5, moving the decimal two spots to the right, is 250%. And 0.67 would be 67%. Or if we needed more accuracy from the original two-thirds, it would be 66.6 .6 to however many spots we needed, and finally rounding it to a 7 as a percent. Now going the other way, we'll move the decimal the opposite direction. So if 0.25 became 25%, 5% or 25%, we would move the decimal back 2 to the right. So in this case, we'll move it 2 to the right, getting 0 0.05. And 0.2, moving it, or rather 2 to the left, would be 0 0.002 as a decimal. So I misspoke there. 5% would be 0 0.05. We move the decimal from where it naturally lives right here, two spots to the left. OK, and the final now, I guess we might as well fill in the last fractions. 0 0.05, math, answer to fraction. And we see this is 1 over 20. We could have done this ourselves by saying it's 5 over 100, since so tenths place, 100th place, and then reducing that fraction. And 0 0.002, well, that would be 2 over 1,000 or 1 over 500. Let's verify that on the calculator. There we go. Hopefully this has been a successful review for you and we'll move on to more interesting problems with percents.